everyone, I'm Linnea. My creator Artifacts223 is under the weather, so he asked me to help him out with this review of the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro Display Tablet. <sighs> Please forgive me, this is my first time and I'm very shy. First, Arctic wants me to talk about the packaging and unboxing. It comes with all this neat stuff. Mine is Frisky the Cat. He likes boxes a lot. <laughs> Looks like Arctic is having trouble opening the tablet packaging box. What a catastrophe! <laughs> wow, that must be the display tablet. Look how shiny that is. Frisky can see his reflection. Wow. Now, Arctic removes the separator. There is a tablet stand and some international plugins. That means he can take this tablet internationally. Neat! Looks like Frisky has decided to hang out for a while. <laughs> you will only need a power supply if your computer or laptop doesn't have enough USB ports or doesn't supply Arctic with power to the USB connection. I should also mention that you must have a computer or a laptop in order to use this tablet. This isn't a standalone tablet. I'm sorry. In this tube thing is the pen for the tablet. Arctic says to talk about it later. And in this paper pouch thing is a cleaning cloth, driver card, manual, thank you card and a weird glove. Ah, this glove is special for drawing on the tablet surface because it reduces friction and helps the artist hand glide across the screen. The Artist 15.6 Pro Pen is much improved from its predecessor. It's not octagonal and it feels good to hold and it's battery free. The only issue is that the older bean has an eraser end, but Arctic said it was no big deal. Before you turn this tablet on, you must first dance! <laughs> I'm kidding! You must install the drivers first. After the drivers are installed, you may connect the tablet to your computer and turn it on. If you plan to run the tablet as a duplicate screen, you should be ready to go. If you plan to run this tablet as an extended screen like Arctic, you may have to adjust your screen resolution on your desktop to 100% on the tablet monitor. For some reason, the tablet defaults into 150% for Windows 10 users. So, it might not do this on older versions of Windows or a pricey less superior Mac. The power button is on the side and lights up blue when the tablet is turned on, and the other button turns the brightness up and down. And just like that, <laughs> the tablet is on. And of course, we have to do the peeling plastic of the screen. Oh, oh that's so nice. What? Arctic is going to draw me? How embarrassing. While he draws me, I'll talk about the pros and cons of this tablet. First off is the pros. This tablet is excellently made and feels very sturdy. The red dial and express keys are magnificent. Arctic loved the size of the tablet and that it gives him enough room to draw with no limitations. And the screen to pen feel is wonderful. As for the cons, Frisky constantly wants to sit on it. <laughs> and Arctic says that the cords can get in the way sometimes if you're using a laptop. Arctic? You drew me? In an embarrassing way? I'm not sure what else to say. I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> that's all for the review. I hope you people out there enjoyed it. And if you want more reviews or tutorial with me in it, please let me know by liking, subscribing to Arctic and myself, sharing this review video and commenting below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>